740 here, Big 550 KTRS. Kathy Helbig is with us. She is a real estate guru, been so for 18 years, though she only looks 25, so she started in the business when she was 10. Uh, she's co-owner of Keller Williams Realty West. She's in St. Louis County as well as St. Charles County. Good morning, Kathy Helbig. Good morning. What are we talking about today? We are talking about navigating building inspections in this Ooh, market. Yes, mm. good one. It's a little bit different these days. So, you know, a couple of years ago when it was a buyer's market, you'd do a building inspection and pretty much ask for everything to be done and pretty much got it. Right. And at this point, there's, you know, we're running into a lot of people that um, are not really understanding what the seller's market means, even though they've done multiple offers and, and won the contract. <laughs> now they're getting the house and then they go, well, we paid full price or over, so we want everything done on the building inspection. <laughs> right. And unfortunately, it still doesn't work that way. So a building inspection doesn't mean they get a new new kitchen. You don't get a new house on a building <laughs> inspection. Exactly. Especially when there's five people in line behind you waiting for you to ask for that new kitchen so that the seller kicks you to the curb and moves on to the next contract. So what should we expect with a home inspection? What you should expect, number one, is home inspections have changed over the past few years. They're very... Um, customer oriented to where it's not just about finding the defects in the home it's about educating the building inspectors client on their house so it's going through every nook and cranny and not only finding the hazards the safety hazards and the defects but it's also pointing out maintenance items it's pointing out um, suggestions or changes or upgrades that you should make to your home over the years as you're the homeowner. Unfortunately, that confuses the buyer a lot of times, and they see this 30-page report full of items that say caulk around the windows, right. um, you know, expect to change your water heater in five years because it's in the mid-range of its life. And then they look at that and go, well, we want a new water heater and we want all new windows, mm -hmm. you know, because the building inspector has it on his list. Right. So you have to look at that in the light in which it's intended for and not think that that entire report is an expectation for the seller to make those repairs. When I sold my house, I had to fix my sewer lateral. What mm -hmm. was that about? Well, you probably had an older house. Yes. And a lot of times, um, you know, there, the, from the house to the street is the homeowner responsibility okay so if there's any blockages then yes it is your responsibility to and that is a bigger item that a lot of buyers mm -hmm. do ask for and that shows up in that home inspection though it can yes a and so I had to fix it because that's one of those things that has to be fixed before you sell the house it doesn't have to it's a negotiation piece between the oh. buyer and seller but typically a buyer will you know put their dig their heels in on something like that right because that's um, a real problem as opposed to exactly. changing windows and exactly years. Mm -hmm. but we'll run into things like um, you know so the inspector will say there's a few years uh, life left in a roof it's not leaking right it's a 20 year old house you knew it was a 20 year old house when you wrote that contract and all of a sudden you come in and say now i want a new roof well if that house had a new roof it probably would have asked a little <laughs> bit higher of a price right so right. you've got to factor those things in and then the last big thing that's happening right now is you know in this race to get the contract people are shortening time frames for inspections and thing like things like that to win the deal be prepared and have a backup plan because these inspectors are booked up hmm. so all of a sudden you'll shorten your 10-day period to a five-day period and then start freaking out because you can't get any inspectors to get over there. So make sure you're prepared before you go in and do things like that and you have a backup plan. Uh, real estate still booming? Real estate is still booming. Lots of inventory coming on now in May. Right. A lot of people that kind of didn't jump on the early spring market are coming on in May. That's why you call Kathy Helbig. Her team of realtors will help you every step of the way. And don't forget the app. It's a great app. One app. Uh, KathyHelbigGroup.com. Download the app and you can get all the information up to the second. Way better than those national ones that don't even have half the information Amen. that uh, you have. Uh, <laughs> Kathy Helbig, thanks for coming in. Thanks, guys. Thanks KathyHelbigGroup.com. 314-276-SOLD or KathyHelbigGroup.com.